change your heart, change your life, change the planet. Hi everybody, it's Tim Van Orden, and today I wanna to talk about professionalism at the workplace. Should you bring your emotions to work with you or should you leave them at home? Especially if you're having a rough start to your day. Should you call in sick or should you bring your emotions to work with you and work them out with the people that you share space with? So we're gonna dig into this idea of what it means to be a professional and what professionalism is. We're gonna start off by looking at the word profess, which means to take a vow or to declare publicly. So a professor then is someone that declares publicly that they are an expert in some field of knowledge. They put out their shingle and they say, I know this, come learn from me. And therefore a profession is the art or science or skill that they are professing to be an expert in. So therefore the word professional is an adjective which applies to skills or learned trades. That's it. But let's dig a little deeper. Let's look at the word expert because a professional, if we use the noun instead of the adjective, is claiming to be an expert in some field, art, science, skill. So what does the word expert mean? As an adjective, expert means having had experience, having had practice, being skilled in something. It comes from the Latin expertus, which means tried, practiced, or known through experience. It breaks down to ex, which means out, and peritus, which means tested, tried, or experienced. If we look at the word expert as a noun, it means someone that has grown wise through experience, someone who has risked, someone who has put skin in the game and learned from their trials, tribulations, and successes. And the reason that I'm going down this rabbit hole is that if you're trying things, if you're testing things, if you're risking and putting skin in the game and then learning from that experience and then repeating that process until you gain knowledge, until you gain experience, there's an emotional component there. You can't just put skin in the game and not have a feeling of loss or fear or anxiety. So emotions are a big part of experience. Emotions are a big component of what makes someone an expert. And if we dive a little deeper and look at the word experience, it means knowledge gained through observation or knowledge gained through repeated trials. So in order to get experience, you have to be willing to put yourself out there. You have to be willing to lose something. You have to be willing to take a little risk. This is how you learn. This is what makes you an expert. And if we go back to the definition of expert as a noun, it is someone who has grown wise through experience. Wisdom doesn't come if you never take risks. If you always play it safe and you never fall down and never learn how to get back up, you're not an expert because you're not wise. Your knowledge is one dimensional and therefore doesn't apply to the real world. In order to gain wisdom, in order to gain true experience, in order to become an expert and therefore become a professional, someone who professes to be an expert, you have to have an emotional component. So when I hear people talking about leaving their emotions at home and not bringing them into the workplace, this confuses me, or should I say it concerns me? Because if there's no emotional component in what you're doing, then you're not present to the consequences, either good or bad. Either what you're doing has no value, or what you're doing could have some seriously negative consequences that you're not aware of because you're not emotionally engaged. You're not making value judgments. You're not saying, what is the impact of this choice, of this action, of this product or business? In fact, what's the impact of my very job? I'm a professional, but if I lack empathy in the workplace, if empathy is not allowed, if my humanity is not welcome in the office, then how could I possibly be empathetic to those that might use my product or service? So this is something that I'd love to start a conversation about. So please let me know in the comments below what you think about emotions in the workplace. Should you leave them at home or are they an important component of conscious capitalism? I think they are, but let me know what you think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, subscribe. And if you wanna see this message get out there to a wider audience, come on over to Patreon. It's just a buck or two a month and you help me spread the message of conscious awareness, self-compassion, good stuff. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.